In Georgetown's Old Seed Gardens, these artists find inspiration amongst the different species of flowers, the vibrant color, and the way the light strikes their subject. Some choose to enliven the canvas with watercolor, while others choose oil paint. Each has its own unique characteristics. We've got lots of uh, bright color today, so it's nice to kind of uh, splash away with the oils. And uh, it's not quite as intensive as the, um, the line and wash with the watercolor. In watercolor, you have to paint from light to dark because your light, your white is the white of the paper. And uh, the paper shines through. With, with transparency, you can keep layering paint and, and get a real glow and a wonderful light effects. As the brush strokes begin to reveal the image that stands before the artist, for one of the painters, it's important to study progress from a bit of a distance. When you're focused on it and it's that close, you don't really appreciate the impact of what you're doing. A painting has to read from the other side of the room also. So standing back gives you a good idea of whether the colors really are in the right proportion to each other, whether the composition looks right. The plein air artists are a group of six who've been together since 2018, traveling mostly around Halton Hills. But the love of nature comes more from past moments than current ones. My parents had a cottage that my brother and I, we all went to every summer and weekends for many years. And that's on those rainy days when there's nothing to do, I was being creative. And I spent childhood summers at a cottage in Muskoka, and when I worked in the city, I went on wilderness canoe trips to escape, and, and uh, then I studied horticulture and became a very keen gardener. On this day, it only took a couple of hours for each to mostly finish a new painting, although there was mention of touch-ups to be completed later, as the artists contemplated the finer points of their creations. Once finished, some of their work is shared with the community in spaces like the Cisnet Lobby. I feel, feel proud to be, be a group and uh, to be able to show the, the pretty scenes around the area we live. I hope they, uh, they recognize some of our, our local scenes and, and I hope they enjoy them. I hope they maybe look at them a little differently, you know, because you're trying to express your point of view. And I hope that would have an impact on people seeing art as being accessible and possible and not something that is the exclusive property of artists and collectors. It's creativity belongs to everyone. Jason Trout for Halton News in Georgetown.